I think today is a particularly important day. I mean, clearly the headline is it's about how do we accelerate growth in the UK economy. But I think even more important than that, it's bringing together a lot of people who actually make growth happen, the people that run businesses, and putting them very closely in touch with people who set the climate, people in government. And I think when we saw today the Prime Minister and the Foreign Secretary both being so pro-business, we saw exactly what the combination of good government climate setting and good energised business activity can really do for the country. We have some very clear messages for the government, and I'm pleased to say they're listening. The, the first message we've been very, very positive on is keeping the financial discipline that they've introduced, because that, more than anything, gives us the bedrock of recovery. It gives us low interest rates at home and a competitive currency abroad. Beyond that, we've actually been very clear we want, within those constraints, a positive attitude to growth, to infrastructure, to seeing commitment come through in roads and rail systems, shovel-ready projects that can make a difference to the country's growth and to its unemployment very quickly. Beyond that, it's also about confidence. There are a lot of businesses in the country that are doing well, that have money, that are putting it on their balance sheet, but not quite positive enough in mindset to spend it. The government can help give us confidence to go forward in the way they demonstrate commitment to the issues that they have inherited, in the way that they show business is top of the agenda for them, and by demonstrating, as they have today, that it's not only words, it's also deeds. And we're seeing that come through in some of the taxation, some of the regulation reduction, we want more re regulation reduction. We want lower taxes, but the direction of travel is good. I think when delegates leave the conference this evening, I'd like them to have taken away, first of all, a sense of real belief that the government have been listening to the CBI's messages and are acting very positively on them. And we see evidence today that that is, in fact, taking place. I think I'd also like them to go back with a sense of self-confidence that reaching out for opportunity, going for export markets, is well within their grasp and it is critical to the development of this country that they do so.